Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I have something extra special for you. As you know, last year I started the search to find the next beauty influencer. Literally thousands of you answered the call, and I was blown away by what I saw. Wow. But I could only pick six to bring with me to the YouTube stages in Los Angeles, California. You are officially one of the six people on the show. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so hysterical right now. Congratulations, sister. You've made it. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, why are you crying? Hey, oh my god. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Over the next month, I'll test their artistry, camera presence, and potential to be a beauty superstar. There'll be a few special guests. You guys are hot too. <laughs> and a ton of surprises, but in the end, only one can become an instant influencer. My name is Christian Perez. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I moved to LA because after my dad got deported, I knew that Los Angeles was the place I needed to be to get further in my career as an influencer. Some days I'm a blue alien, another day I'm a gremlin. Sometimes I'll draw Billie Eilish or Naomi Campbell on my face. I work on my art all the time. All I ever do is makeup, edit, and post, makeup, edit, and post, makeup, edit, and post, makeup, edit, and post. I live, breathe, and die makeup. Hi, I'm Gabriel Dreams. I am 21 years old and I currently reside in Los Angeles, California. Growing up in foster care, I didn't have the best childhood, but through my art is me reconnecting with my inner child. Coming here, I really want to inspire others and show that your past does not define you. My name is Kaylin Chase. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I'm 24 years old. I went from being a little bit of an ugly duckling who had a really hard life to persevering, being extremely ambitious. I really found my power through makeup, and I'm ready to inspire others to do the same. Bye, beauties. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of Instant Influencer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I need to see your beautiful faces, though. Lights. Oh, Hi, guys. Hi guys. oh my God. When I called you guys to tell you that you made the show, we actually gave you your first compact challenge. Your first challenge actually starts right now. Okay. Tell me what I have to do. <laughs> I need you to come on the first day of filming with a makeup look on that tells us who you are as an artist. No pressure. There is no creative boundaries. You can come with whatever look you want, whatever hair you want, whatever outfit you want. I just want to be able to look at you and see, okay, this is Ashley Strong, Halen Chase, Brittany Renteria as an artist and as a person represented. I feel electric. My body is like shaking right now. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, well, I need to, like, go figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Well, you better go then. It was nice talking to you, sister. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Talk uh, to you soon. Bye. Bye. You guys all look absolutely incredible, and I'm so excited to learn more. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Benny, we're gonna go ahead and start with you. Tell me about this makeup look and how it defines you as an artist. This is just a mixture of Japanese cherry blossoms and a scenery wet mountains on my forehead. The mountains remind me of my father, and my mother lived in Japan. So I went for this exotic scene to represent the future that is ahead of me. I come from such a small town where there's nothing to do, and I felt like I would always be stuck there. But now that I'm here, I realize that I have a chance, and I am very excited. And that is the right attitude to have. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Growing up, I always felt like I really couldn't be myself most of the time. <laughs> What made me feel comfortable in breaking me out of my shell was finding the love of makeup because it gave me more confidence and I can't wait to blossom in this competition. One note that I would love to give you is that the mountain story and the cherry blossom story are both beautiful, but they're not very cohesive together. So I would love to see how you could connect those in the future. Thank you. Hi, Gabriel. Tell me about your look today. Well, this represents me as an artist because with this I can bring a message and that's what I really like to do with my work is inspire change. So I did the earth and the skull to represent how we need to like do as much as we can to save the animals and the nature that we have before, you know, it's too late. How long did this makeup look take you today? I woke up at 12.30. <laughs> and then- In the morning? Yeah. Oh my God. The amount of work that you put into it really does show. The one note that I would love to give you is that your story about Mother Nature is beautiful, but it has nothing to do with you as a person. 
I wanted to see your personal journey and how that connects to you more as an artist. Hi, Christian. Hey, James. I am so intrigued by what is going on with this look today. Oh my God, whoa! Tell me about this look and how it defines you as an artist. I was homeless for quite some time in 2019 because my dad got deported. Um, so kind of to symbolize my dark past, I wanted to put that into a mask. And then my face is actually an orchid symbolizing a brighter future for me ahead. I'm really sorry to hear about your father and I'm glad that you're here and you're okay. In your audition video, you actually introduced yourself as Indigo. Not Christian. Indigo is a stage name for me. It's okay. actually a nickname that my friends gave me when I used to dye my hair like blue and all those crazy colors. And it just kind of stuck. So ever since, that's been my online persona. Do you want us to call you by Christian or Indigo? Let's go with Indigo. Okay, Indigo from now on. Yes. Well, Indigo, I love this look. The one note that I do want to give, however, is that this look and the mask, obviously it's covering your face and you had to do the full reveal. I really want to get to know Indigo for who you truly are without anything hiding or getting in the way. Hi, Caitlin. Hey. <laughs> Tell me about this look that defines you. So I do do a lot of like everyday wearable looks and kind of keep it a little more low key, mm -hmm. but I really wanted people to know exactly who I am. I've like gone through so much in my life and I've just been a very like vivacious person no, 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 through I feel like I want I to also encourage people. Disruptive and I'm in. fun and I'm loud. No um, way, there's, like, there's like no way. Like I'm not even worried about it, like meh. My biggest weakness in this entire competition is that I'm a rambler and I will talk for days. Why do they keep emailing me that like there's no way? And then I got it and I was just like blown away. So I'm shut up, <laughs> like seriously. With my neck, I actually took the Stila. I was just kind of thinking like of a painting, like a palette, like it's a, it's a hot mess, which is exactly who I am. Beautiful chaos. Mm, yeah, beautiful chaos. <laughs> The one note that I have for you was that your explanation of the look was also a little bit of a beautiful mess. <laughs> but I really want to challenge you to kind of think about what you want to say before you say it. It'll really help you out when it comes to public speaking and also filming YouTube videos. Hi, Ashley. Hi, James. This makeup look is so abstract. I am really pumped to learn more about this. This is Inkblot inspired. My message has uh, to do with mental health. I became a mom when I was 16, and that came with a ton of challenges. I've strived to keep a healthy balance, but it's something that I've struggled with over the years. Artistry just helps me slow down and like really center myself. I wanted to create a look that was interpreted by the viewer because you'd never really know what's going on beneath the surface. No one person sees the same image with an ink blot, so I think that that's a really important part of art and just life yeah. in general. I love that that's a part of your message, and hopefully a lot of people will connect with that as well. My drive is super strong coming into this competition. Not only am I looking out for me, but I'm looking out for my son. Look at your eyebrow. Being a mom, you'll do like anything for your kid. <laughs> Twice. I didn't like that. I'm ready to compete and I'm ready to win this. I've tried to do watercolor looks many times before. They are very challenging to actually look accurate. And this was very impressive to me. The one note that I have for you is that because of the look, you're missing the brows and kind of the eyes and the lips. I would have loved to see this was a lash, so not all those elements were missing. Thanks. Brittany. Hi. Tell me about this makeup look that you have on today. So it represents my personality, which is bubbly. And um, with the eyes, I just wanted to play with color because that's usually what I like to do. I'm one of those people that's like mainly eyes and the nude lip. A lot of times people would say, oh my God, like you're so outgoing and stuff on YouTube, but you're shy in person. So I was that one girl that everybody would whisper about saying, oh, she wears too much makeup. She looks like a clown. For some reason, that just made me pile on more makeup. It's been hard. I moved out when I was 15. So I literally have two full-time jobs um, and I'm just trying to make it. One note that I would love to give is that this look in comparison to the others is a little bit more simplistic. I would love to see how creative you can truly be. I think James thinks I'm basic. I'm not basic. Thank goodness this was not an elimination challenge. I still have a chance to bring it. I'm honestly very, very impressed with each and every single one of your looks. A lot of you guys rose to the level that I was hoping for, but one person in particular blew me away with both technical skill and use imaginative artistry by connecting it to their personal journey. Ashley, congratulations. You are the winner of the first Compact Challenge. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My look won. I made the right call. Yes. And this means you're going to get a major advantage in today's elimination challenge.
Before we get into that though, do you guys want to know what you're competing for? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The winner of Insta Influencer will take home a full lighting and videography equipment package, just like the one I have at home, valued at $10,000. Wow. So your guys' videos will be looking bomb as heck. You will also win a collaboration with me on my YouTube channel. Hi sisters, Steve Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A new challenge that we're doing here called Makeup Relay. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much for all the special effects. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, no big deal or anything, but also, $50,000. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> of course, it all sounds fun, but it will only come from very hard work. And I'm very excited to tell you guys about today's first elimination challenge. As you guys know, there are many aspects of what it takes to be a successful beauty influencer. And this show is going to test all of them. Marketing is a vital skill to have when it comes to being an influencer. And in today's challenge, we're gonna be testing your ability to sell products. I had the opportunity to collaborate with Morphe on my James Charles X Morphe palette. It is still one of the best selling palettes of all time. In order to actually get that there though, we had to do a full marketing campaign behind it. And I don't know if you guys saw my reveal video, but I did 10 different makeup looks all in different rainbow colors for the 39 shades and finalized it with the white splash paint look, which is now on all of the packaging. In today's challenge, you guys are going to be making your very own reveal video. I've never done a product reveal before, but I sell things all the time, so I think I got this in the bag. At the beginning of this challenge, you guys are gonna get to step foot for the first time in the Ulta Beauty Closet. For all your makeup needs and necessities, where you will select one item to create your marketing campaign around. You need to plan, film, and edit your very own short commercial around your makeup product. I wanna see your personality and your ability to sell products, because at the end of this challenge, one of you will be going home. For this challenge, you guys are gonna have three hours to put together your commercials. I am terrified that I have to get this video done in three hours. It takes me three hours to film a single video. So I don't know how this is going to work. Not to add any more pressure or anything, but I feel like I should probably tell you guys about the judges that'll be joining me on the final panel. My permanent judge that'll be with us the entire series is a legend in the beauty community. She is the president and creative director of Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina. We'll be here today. I love Norvina and I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. And also our second celebrity guest judge is somebody that can only be described as iconic. She's also very hot. It's Paris Hilton. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Paris Hilton is here. I can't breathe. So you guys need to make sure Norvina and Paris also want to buy your product too. Ashley, as the winner of today's compact challenge, you get to make your first selection in Ulta Beauty Closet. Bye guys. <laughs> oh my God. I see the Ulta Beauty Closet and the first thing I want to do is just go grab a bag and start like shoving stuff in there. I'm just like so excited. I can't believe there's so much stuff. All right, Ashley, what did you pick as your item for your commercial? I got the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in Blue Your Mind. Okay, this should be super, super interesting. All right, for everybody else, you guys are gonna get the same opportunity to run to the closet and remember to blend, but don't blend in. Your time starts now. Oh my God. That is some sister sprinting if I ever did see it. Victory. <laughs> okay, you guys, I wanna know what everybody got. So we know Ashley has the blue mascara, Christian, Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation, Benny, the KKW contouring stick, Gabriel. Oh, you better be careful with that one. I'm expecting greatness. I will try. Brittany. Okay, the Ofra highlighter. Yes. All right, and finally, Kaylin, the Real Techniques Beauty yes. Sponge. Good luck, you guys. Cool. Oh my gosh, so much glitter. Okay. These video labs are fabulous, first of all. I'm pumped at how professional the setup is. Oh my God, you can see other people. What the f Blue mascara is kind of self-explanatory, but it's a really fun poppy product. I've never done a product reveal video before. This is something new and really challenging, but I feel like I'm gonna be able to create a great campaign around this because the product is really simple. I came out with a brand new mascara and I'm so excited to show, oh yeah, I should talk to the camera. Okay. 
since this challenge isn't artistry based and I can't show my creativity that way, my goal is to wow the judges with what I do know about editing, which is like a little bit of a B-roll, lazy Susan moment, and a really convincing demeanor. Three hours seems like a lot of time, but once you start working and rushing, it is no time at all. My skin looks cute. I'm revealing the KKW contour and highlight stick. I'm going to just show you guys how to contour and get snatched and get a man after this. I do feel like I'm really good at contour, but not cream. Okay, sis, okay. I'm focusing on the cheeks because it gives a lot of definition. My plan is to make a very lighthearted, funny, but also informative video. It's perfect and it's so creamy and it gives you that glowy look. Now this foundation is relatively full coverage. I grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation because my skin is staying pink from the first challenge. Not only is it getting rid of the redness that I had in my skin, but it's also getting rid of my dark circles. This product is working just the way that I wanted to. I've never actually used it, but it is full coverage and it is working perfectly. This is genuinely actually looking better than my regular foundation. So thank the Lord for that. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video all about my favorite highlight, which is from Oprah in the color Pillow Talk. Wait, I need to get my breath. I know it's key to not just show off this Oprah highlighter, but to show off myself. Lucky for me, once I turn that camera on, my bubbly side just comes out naturally. Before we apply the highlight, you have to have a flawless base, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera real quick. I decided to do my intro without makeup, which I'm not used to because usually I do that first, but I want to do most of my makeup off camera. Oh, this blush, it's gonna be perfect. Look how gorgeous that is, wow. Oh. I know this is a risk using James's Morphe palette, but I think this risk is gonna pay off. It'll be fine. I came up with the idea to showcase that you can do a lot with neutral colors and a lot with bright colors. It's really hard for bright colors to be pigmented and that's not the case with the James Charles palette, girl. This morning, James didn't really feel like he got to know me through my look. This should be good, this should be. So now I'm revealing this colorful product to show off my colorful personality. Eyes and face and edit. Okay. You guys, today we are doing a look with literally one single, wait, <laughs> I got my words, whoops. I like to take my time when I'm filming my videos and I like to take takes like you wouldn't believe. I take so many takes. Boys and girls, welcome. So today we are going to get in how the hell did I just say? Boys and girls, hello, welcome. Oh, okay, I should have that out of my hand, okay. Boys and girls, welcome, hello. So today, okay, that sounded hella fake, okay. In the previous challenge, James noted that I was rambling, which he was a thousand percent right on because that is a weakness that I have had for my entire life. When doing my foundation, I like to quickly press when doing my foundation, when doing my foundation, I like to quickly press. And so in this challenge, I'm really going to focus on being concise, clear, and prepared for my words. My skin literally looks so fresh and so supple and juicy right now, like so plump. Who needs, I, oh, wait, wait, okay, I, I, can, I, can, I can do this, I can do this, okay? I'm the first one out of the room to go edit and I'm super excited. This is exactly what I wanted to prove to James, that I could work my butt off and be the first one to finish. Okay, let's go edit. All right, you guys, I wanted to come in and tell you, you have about one hour and 30 minutes remaining for this challenge. I'm super excited to see the final products. Get back to cutting super quick. Out of footage, Gabriel. What were you thinking? I think I'm pretty strong at editing. The trickiest part was whether or not to put all clips that I wanted to do. You, you gotta make it work. At this point, I start to get nervous, but I know that I have to finish no matter what. I did most of my makeup off camera, so I only have a small amount of clips because editing is not my forte. I can't really go and polish it the way I want because I'm scared if I keep working on it, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm done. I was really hoping that I would have like an hour and a half to edit, but at this point, I have no idea how I'm gonna narrow this down. I'm so nervous right now, and I'm scrambling for my life.
I am just cutting, 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 and cutting my life away. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Cut, period. Time is up, and I did not watch my video all the way through. I don't know what to say. We're going into this deliberation. I have no idea what this video looks like. All right, my artist, how was your first official elimination challenge? Intense. <laughs> well, we are so excited to see what you guys have put together for us today. But before that, I want to quickly introduce you guys to our guest judges. Joining us the entire season is one of my close friends, makeup legend. She's the president and creative director of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Please welcome Norvina. Hi, guys. So excited to see what you have to offer. Our second judge needs no introduction, let's be honest. <laughs> She's iconic, legendary, and totally hot. Paris Hilton. You guys are hot too. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and watch some videos. Benny, you're gonna be up first. The rest of you guys can all go take a seat. It's important to do well in this first elimination challenge because otherwise, you're going home. And I do not want to be the first one to go home. All right, Benny, let's go ahead and take a look at your commercial. Hey guys, it's Benny Sarah. Sis, come join the fam. Okay, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the KKW Beauty um, Cream Contour Sticks. So once I have the product on my back of my hand, I'm going to take a stippling brush, something like this, and I'm gonna kind of pinch it, and I'm gonna go in with the brush, and I'm just gonna take it and kind of get my contour on. You know, sis? Hi everyone, okay, so I just did the rest of my makeup off camera and now I'm back. The cream contour sticks look amazing. All I did was really just set them with loose translucent powder because this does the trick. All right, Benny, well thank you so much for sharing your video with us. I would love to give you some positive notes. I really, really like how your personality came through in this video and that is really, really important when it comes to being an influencer. But I would have loved to get the opportunity to actually watch you apply that product, blend it out a little bit more, and kind of all over the face rather than just on the cheekbones because we contour kind of everywhere. Yes, I understand. Marina? Hi, Benny. Hi. I actually have the pleasure of creating product reveal videos all the time for Anastasia Beverly Hills. And one of the things that I would have loved to have seen from you is you explaining what the product is first and foremost. What is contour? How does this differ? The different ways that you can contour. You can do it with cream, you can do it with powder. When you are actually revealing a product, you have to kind of explain it to the viewer as if they have no idea about the product, about the category for the first time. That's a really good point. Paris? I loved your personality in the video. And I love that you say sis because Sis over here always says it, and I just, I love that. So I feel that really just, you know, when the viewers are watching, it makes them feel like they're part of your family. That's what I want, that's what I want to do. I want to, like, um, make everyone happy and entertain because I was put down most of my life saying that I would never get anywhere. A lot of people really don't believe in me. Well, look where you are today. So exactly. here in Hollywood, shooting with all of us, and I think you're a star. Thank you so much, that means a lot. Thank you, Benny, for sharing your commercial with us. Thank you. You can go ahead and sit down. All right, our next artist is going to be Brittany. Hey guys, so today I'm filming a very exciting video. I'm gonna be telling you guys all about my favorite highlight from Oprah. Okay, so now that I got my base on, we're nice and flawless, but let me just show you guys this color right here. It's so beautiful. It has a pink undertone to it, and look at that. So let me go ahead and show you this baby in action. So I'm just gonna use my M510 from Morphe. You could use any highlighting brush, and look at how beautiful this is. Some of those drugstore highlighters can look a little powdery sometimes. Don't get me wrong, there is some good drugstore highlighters as well, but this one is worth spending your coin on. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I get my favorite glow, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, well, one thing that I would have loved to see was a slightly raised camera angle. You actually cut off the top of your head for some of the clips, and I would have just loved to have it like a little bit more focused on your face. That's really, really important to, in order to like connect. I noticed when we were watching the workrooms, you actually were the first one to leave and go edit, and the first one done editing, right? I just kept thinking of all the stuff I could have done, and I wish I like spent more time on it. It is important to take those extra minutes, even if you're rushing, in order to make sure that everything is perfect and ready to go, because slow and steady wins the race. 
I was hoping that James would see me finishing in two hours with one hour to spare as a good thing. Marina? Hi, Brittany. Hi, I love your eyeshadow. I just had to tell you. It's Thank beautiful. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love your highlight. It looked beautiful. Thank it was you. blinding. That's for sure. I, I think it was, <laughs> you look gorgeous. One of the things that I would like for you to improve on is to think about coming off more of reviewing the product and speaking about the product and revealing the product attributes. As I was watching you, I was trying to figure out why you were mentioning so many other things like the Morphe brush and drugstore highlighters. All that was doing was sending my thoughts into other directions and you want to keep me focused on what you're selling. Paris? First off, I want to say I love your hair color. Thank you so I much. I think for an influencer, it's definitely important to have kind of your trademark, and I think that color works so well on you. And I thought that you had a lot of fun with it. I thought that you killed it. Thank you so much. It means a lot. I love my fellow artists, but I'm low-key hoping that someone did worse than me. All right, our next artist is going to be Kaylin. This is about to be very interesting. Let's all say a prayer. Boys and girls, welcome, because today we are going to be getting into how to do your full face with one tool and one tool only, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm telling you guys, this thing is phenomenal. When I start my foundation with this sponge, I like to focus on the perimeter of my face. Oh my gosh, you guys, if that isn't a snatch base, I don't know what is. It's time to get into the contour, and I like to put the contour color directly onto the sponge so that I don't have a harder time diffusing it. See you guys, cream contour is not so scary. And when you're using a beauty sponge, you really have that control to diffuse it out. Foundation, cream contour, powder, highlighter, eyeshadow, literally everything was done with this Real Techniques beauty sponge. It's everything. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? You yeah, good? yeah. Oh my, I was just not expecting it to come out. <laughs> Before I even get anything, this I've noticed this is a common theme with you. You are not very confident. Which is a problem. Because you should be. Okay, I'm telling you this now. I was really excited to talk to you the first time because we loved your audition video. And I remember you were crying on the call and you didn't think you were gonna make it, which I get, but now you're here, okay? You killed it this morning and you killed it again. So let's get it together. I really like this video, Kaylin. I think this was really, really good. It made me want to get the product. I love how you came in with a full concept of I'm gonna do everything using this sponge. Paris? I love the video. I actually don't know how to do contour, but I felt after watching the video, I learned you made me want to buy this product. And I think that's what being an influencer is about. Thank you. Marina? Hi, I think you did such a beautiful job. Thank you. I think you're definitely an artist and that comes through. I think that you like to lead with education, which for me is very important. One of the things that I would have liked for you to speak to is why this Real Technique sponge. There's hundreds of sponges out there. How mm -hmm. is this one making your application easier, better than a previous one? That would have been good, I think. But I really like the artistry, that was great. Thank you. All right, next up we have Gabriel. Hey dreamers, welcome back to my channel. And today is something very special. Are you guys ready for the reveal? <laughs> so the colors I'm gonna use in my palette today are this beautiful orangey brown. Just applying that to my inner corner. This little guy right here, he's a little dark brown. And put that slightly under the color that I just put. Taking the brightest color of the blue in my palette, I'm gonna go ahead and ever so slightly pack that onto the outer corner. As you can see, I already went ahead and cut that crease again. I'm gonna go in with my brightest pink shade. I'm gonna go ahead and really pack that on there. So that is the finished look. I hope you all enjoy this. I'll see you next time on Gabriel Dreams. All right, Gabriel. Well, the pressure is definitely on because you went with my very own palette. Um, one thing that I would have loved to see because it is a palette reveal, some swatches. At the end of the day, swatches don't always show how they perform on the eye. We know this best and I love how you did focus a little bit more on the tutorial, but for a palette reveal video, it's kind of like, Customary. Oh my god. I did film the swatches. I just, it slipped my mind to put it in the video. Marina? Hi, Gabriel. Hi. I thought it was unique what you did overall. Thank you. I think that you have a lot of potential to become all around polished, amazing influencer. I think you need a little bit of work with the details. You know, learning to really sell the product, explain the product, to really talk about the different pulses, how some of them could be used as contour, blush, et cetera. I think that would have been fantastic. Paris? So I love that you call everyone dreamers. 
I think it's important to have kind of a nickname for your fan base. All my fans call themselves my little Hiltons. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a dreamer, baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, next up we have Ashley. Hey guys, it's your girl Strash Me. I am bursting with excitement because I get to announce to you I'm coming out with my very own mascara. But the gag is, it's blue. I wanted to create a product that was going to allow you to incorporate color into your everyday routine in a safe and voluptuous way. Not only do I like to apply the mascara to my regular lashes, as you can see on the bottom here, I have the blue featured, but I also like to apply it to my false lashes just to give a little bit more of like an amped up vibe. It's called Blue Your Mind. Get your hands on my brand new mascara right now and add a pop of color to your makeup routine. Okay, well, Ashley, you had the first pick in the Ulta Beauty closet today, so I wanna know, why did you choose the blue mascara? I thought it would be easy to sell because mascara is such a popular product, but I feel like I could have skipped over a lot of explaining how to use it and just jump right into a commercial. Well, I. Loved your video. It was short to the point. I love the insertion of the B-roll, the posing clips, and the little rotating moment of the product. It was really, really good and definitely showcased knowledge of what a reveal video can and probably should look like. My one note for you overall would be in the beginning of the video, you started off by saying, I am bursting with excitement, and your face was like very like, I am bursting with excitement. <laughs> it's like, it's okay to break down that shell a little bit. If you're gonna say you're bursting with excitement, like, we need to see excitement. So you need to make sure that the followers believe what you're saying. Marvina? Really great job. I felt that it felt very professional, very polished. I think that it was definitely an underdog product that you chose. Blue Mascara is out there, so I think that the insertion of those clips was amazing. There's 2,000 mascaras out there, and when people are shopping for them, the first thing they want to know, is it volumizing, is it lengthening, does it build? That would have been really great to know. Paris? I love your jacket. I need to wear it to Burning Man this you year. You can borrow it. It's just really hot. And I love how confident you were. And I just thought it was just like very sexy vibes. I've never worn blue mascara before, but now I'm going to try it out. Thank you. All right, last but finally not least, Indigo. Hey, guys. It's your last brain cell here. <laughs> So my name is Indigo, and today I am going to be showing you the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Not wearing anything at all underneath, I just want to show you how good this foundation is on its own, because it is that good. So I'm going to be using just one pump on my face and just spread that evenly. Now, as you can see, this foundation is honestly so full coverage that you honestly don't even need concealer. It got rid of my under eye, which I didn't sleep at all last night, so that is really saying something. <laughs> Look at that. Before, I looked like I was dying, and now I am, but I don't look it. All right, you guys can also <laughs> use my code hashtag period for full price and full shipping and handling. <laughs> I'm going to go and enjoy my full coverage dewy day. Okay, well, first and foremost, Indigo, that was very, very enjoyable to watch. You were one of the only people today that actually used, like, the typical, like, YouTube-style humor. This morning, we obviously talked about wanting to make sure that you were coming through because your makeup looked beautiful, but we had that full mask, and I want to commend you because I definitely think the sarcastic, dry, but good humor was very apparent in this video, so great job on that. Marvina? Hi. Hi. It was very nice watching you review the foundation. Whenever people want to talk about a foundation and they have skin concerns, they always want to know, is it non-comedogenic? Yeah. Is it oil-free? Is it gluten-free? Yeah. Things of that nature, talc-free. And those are all written on the box on purpose. I know for a fact, because I put them there. Um, <laughs> so it would have been really great for you to address those in the beginning. Thank you. If this was your sponsored video, would you send him the check for this? I think he did a really, really good job. I might have had some edits, but other, other than that, yes, I think it has amazing potential. Great. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most validating thing of this entire show, this entire series. I love you so much. Paris? I love how you describe the foundation. I love that makeup brand, obviously. I really love how you use the special effects and graphics. I think that's really important in editing just to get the message across. Thank you. All right, artists. Well, thank you guys so much for your hard work today. I know this is quite the challenge. There's more to come, but you guys very much impressed all of us with your videos. We have quite a lot to discuss. So if you guys will give us a minute, we'll call you back in a little. Oh my god. I'm taking this chair. 
Okay, you guys, I have a lot of thoughts, but I really want to hear from you guys what you think first. Some stepped out to the challenge and, and some maybe missed the challenge a little bit. Yeah. Paris, how did you feel? I feel like everyone did a really great job. And I actually, I have my favorite just because I think he's so cute. There's just something special about Benny. I, I just like felt for him. Like when he was talking, it like almost made me want to cry, but I didn't want to cry because I didn't want my eyelashes to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Norvina, who is your top of this week? My top of the week is Ashley. She was very polished. She showed the product up close. She did a little spin, she did application. <gasps> Okay, I want to fight both of you right now because Benny was in my least favorite of the group if I had to split it in half. And I think Ashley's video was very professional. Agreed. But the personality wasn't there. She yes. claimed that she was excited and bursting. Yes. But I was like, girl, you're fine. I love her as well, but I feel like that's just her attitude. Like, yeah. she's not the type that's going to be like overly excited and be like, right. I'm bursting with excitement. I just right. feel like that's just not. People do love that, but don't say you're excited if you're not because the audience has to believe it, you know? I really liked Kaylin. Okay. I think her video was so good, and she did a really good job of coming up with a full concept for the product. She talked about how you can use it. She did a good job of demonstrating, and I felt like I was intrigued to buy it after watching her video. Yeah. I feel like out of everything, the sponge is what I wanted to buy. Yeah. And that's Definitely. obviously very important when you're an influencer. I would go more with Christian as far as like personality. He appeared very friendly, but still professional, which is yeah. a very hard thing to do. I really liked Christian's video a lot. I think he really got a good sense of humor in there, which showcased himself while also demonstrating the product. Let's go ahead and talk about the videos that were a little bit less successful. In terms of Britney, her video just didn't stick out that much to me. She also finished with a ton of time to spare, but the video was a little bit of a mess in terms of like organization, yes. the transitions and stuff. It felt a little bit scripted, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Gabriel. He had my palette. I love this palette. I need it, so you have to send me this. You don't have it already? No, I don't. Wow. So I have a couple houses, so maybe it got sent <laughs> to one of them. Must be nice. Yes. I like when people start fresh face yeah. and then you see the final product instead of going back and forth. So with the editing, I thought it was a little bit confusing. I agree, 100%. I think choosing my palette was a major, major risk and I don't think it paid off for him. At the end of the day though, these six are like the best of the best. But we do want to give this title to somebody who truly has what it takes. So we got to knock one person out each time. All right, you guys, well, I appreciate you both so much. Paris, thank you so much for being here today. Love you the absolute you. most. You're so hot. You are. And Norbina, I love you and I will see you, you next week. All right, guys, judges' decisions are in. Let's head back to our video labs to find out who will be continuing in the competition and who is going home. Hi, Kaylin. Hey, James. You know, this morning on set, you talked about how your look was a bit of a beautiful mess, but your final video was anything but. I am so proud of you for letting your personality shine and pulling everything together. Literally, by the time we finished watching the video, I wanted to go out and buy that sponge right away. You did the best in today's challenge. Congratulations, Kaylin. You are the winner. Thank you so much, James. I appreciate everything, and I am going to take all your critiques. I Truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, love. I am so excited to see what more you have to offer. Me, myself, and I. I made it. Oh. Hi, Indigo. Hi. Your reveal video was absolutely phenomenal. We love how you blended together your sense of humor along with your foundation. Congratulations, you're still in the competition. Thank you. I'm so proud of you because I so proud of you. really, oh. you really had me scared there. I know. Hi, Ashley. Hi, James. Ashley, we were very, very impressed by your reveal video today. You are safe. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yes! How do you feel? I am so relieved. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy you guys are here. Hi, Benny. Hi. Your contour and your editing in today's video were both a little bit harsh, 
but we loved how you showcased your personality and I want to see more. You're safe. If I go home today, I would feel like a failure. I'm just hoping that James really sees my potential. I really just don't want to go home. Hi, Brett. <laughs> Hello! Yay! Yay! Now we know. Hi, Gabriel, give us a hug. Welcome. It's a wake-up call. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I don't care who you think you are. This is I feel like crazy. Yes. Yeah. Wait, does this mean Britney's gone? What else would it mean? Unfortunately, today after the judges' deliberation, your video was not our favorite of the day, and you have been eliminated. Can I come sit next to you? I love you and your personality and the confidence that being on camera gives you. I'm so proud of you. And I want you to keep all the positives in mind because this isn't a negative. The whole point of this is not for drama, no stupid eliminations. It's to give you guys information and resources to be better at what you do. And you're already incredible. That's the reason why you're here. And I don't want you to forget that, okay? You have to promise me. Promise? Yeah. Bitch, you better promise. You're so insanely talented and you're so beautiful and your personality is infectious. I love how bubbly you are and I'm sure everybody at home will as well. And I want you to remember that, okay? Thank you. Before we go, I want to take this opportunity to sign off together on the show, just like this is a regular YouTube video, okay? okay. Hi, you guys. James here with Brittany, and we are signing off of Instant Influencer episode one. Britt, thank you so much for joining us here on the competition. We are so Thanks blessed and lucky me. to have you. Thank you. Just like I did, I'm sure everybody home is going to fall in love with you. Where can they check you out if they want to see more? At Brittany Raquel on YouTube and also everything else. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Instant Influencer. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below to show the show your love and support. Also click that subscribe button and finally click that bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a brand new episode. If you liked any of the looks that you saw today and you're feeling inspired and you wanna recreate them, make sure you tag me, tag the show, and finally hashtag Instant Influencer because I'll be reposting some of my favorites. See you next week.